Well, thank you very much for giving me the um, opportunity to uh, introduce 5 and Plus. Um, maybe some of you know about that company. Uh, it's getting larger and larger, so uh, if you don't know that company yet, I guess you will um, hear from us in the, in the future. Uh, so my lawyer asked me to put that slide, okay, just in case. <laughs> so I give you some numbers. It's the best estimate we have uh, right now, if, but if it happens uh, to be false, please, okay, <laughs> forgive me. Uh, so basically, what is 5 and Plus? Um, the company draws, it, draws its name from the, uh, the purity of its uh, products. So basically, what we sell is high purity metals and compounds, having a purity of 99.999% pure or better than that. Um, so we uh, refine and purify um, pure metals. We do the uh, compounds um, of some of them, so uh, mostly semiconducting compounds for medical imaging and uh, PV applications. And we also offer um, full recycling services for these products. So most of them are um, very expensive, so uh, most of the customers like to have the scrap and residues back in our plants to be refined again. Um, so this is a snapshot of the most important products uh, from 5 and Plus. On the left side, you see uh, the compounds, cadmium sulfide, cadmium telluride, uh, which are the major or the uh, active elements in the cattail uh, solar panels. So this is a big seller uh, currently. First of all, is the main uh, customer on this side. Uh, CZT, cadmium zinc telluride, mostly used for a radiation detector, uh, medical imaging for instance. Indium antimonide, also for uh, uh, infrared detectors. And we are a big player in um, cadmium, tellurium, zinc, bismuth, antimony, selenium, gallium, germanium, indium, and tin. Uh, these are all minor, uh, minor metals, most of them being um, uh, very scarce, okay? even worse than the rare arts that, that you, uh, you can uh, hear about nowadays. Um, and germanium, we are also involved in uh, single crystals, uh, germanium wafers for the, uh, the CPV and solar uh, PV applications. Okay, so there's supposed to be a map behind that, uh, that slide. <laughs> so this is basically all the uh, manufacturing facilities of 5 and Plus and a couple of um, sales offices. So the headquarter is in uh, Montreal. We have... Which one is better? Okay, so the headquarter in Montreal. We have another plant in Canada, in, in the Trail, BC. Uh, this one is involved in uh, Indian, Germanium, for instance. Uh, another couple of plants in the USA, uh, a couple in uh, Europe, and the other in uh, Asia, so China, Malaysia, Laos, uh, and so on. Okay, so uh, that's like that, that's the story of the company. Okay, the the um, origin of the company um, is from uh, Narenda, a mining company. And there was a management buyout of um, a specific division in 2000. And well, then you can follow um, the um, evolution. So the, uh, a new plant, the new plant in Montreal in 2005, a plant, the first plant out of the country in Germany. Um, this one is 100% for uh, PV applications. Um, and some recent uh, acquisitions, Firebird Technologies and more recently uh, MCP Groups. So now the company, well, it's public since uh, 2007. It's traded on the, the TMX and we are part of the uh, small cap and clean tech um, indexes. So now the, um, the sales are, should cross the uh, half a billion <coughs> in the coming year and their workforce is above 600 people. Okay, so first, the cattail application. Um, this is the major product that we have in, uh, in Montreal, in uh, Germany. Um, just to make it short, the, uh, on the bottom you see the structure of a cattail uh, PV uh, module. So basically it's a front glass on top of which um, 
there's the, uh, the uh, transparent contact oxide, so the front contact. We deposit a very thin layer of cadmium sulfide and cattle, the back metallic contact, um, an encapsulation layer, and then the back glass that will give the rigidity to the module. So it's very, very simple. And this is why um, it's very uh, easy, well, kind of easy, to scale that in, uh, into production. And this is why the cost is also very low for this technology. So even though the efficiency currently is about uh, 11%, somewhat lower than the silicon, uh, crystalline silicon technology, the cost per watt of this technology uh, is the lowest uh, currently. Okay, so this is uh, to compare the silicon and the cattle uh, technology. These are all uh, first of our uh, numbers. So right now, oops, sorry. Right now, the cost of a full uh, module is about around one dollar per watt. This is not the manufacturing cost, which is about uh, seventy cents per watt. So this is most likely what the customers will pay. In and then, including the balance of the system, it will slightly below uh, three bucks per watt, and that will give. Um, production cost per kilowatt hour of eight, 17 cents uh, today and the forecast is that will be reduced down to uh, 30, 13 cents in uh, two years from now. So this is still uh, well significantly lower than the forecast for the silicon uh, solar cells. Another technology that 5 and Plus is involved in is the CIGS. So the structure is very similar to CATL, uh, except that the active layer is made of, of a semiconducting compound. Uh, that, uh, well, CIGS means copper, indium, gallium, selenium. So this is the active layer in, in that technology. And that offers a potential for 15% and above efficiencies. Although today it's more in the, in the 10 12% efficiencies, but, but already the best or the recall the module can reach uh, 15%. Uh, this is more complex to grow uh, than cattle. Uh, the compound itself is more complex, so the manufacturing is uh, more complex, more costly uh, for now. Uh, but still, this is really an emerging technology, and you will see some uh, numbers in the next slides. Uh, so 5 and Plus is involved uh, in this market by selling and purifying indium, gallium and selenium, which are the most critical uh, metals used in that technology. Okay, this is a uh, quick, uh, quick view of um, the technology uh, shares by percent, uh, percentage of uh, worldwide uh, production. So you see that silicon is still uh, the major uh, dominant technology, so that's the blue and green um, uh, lines. Uh, so sorry, the blue, uh, red, and the green at the top. And you can see that in the last years, um, there are some new colors. So the purple is cattle, and the blue is uh, CIGS. So these technologies are still young, but the the market is really there. Okay, and. These are the same uh, data, but in terms of uh, megawatt produced uh, every year. Uh, so, well, that, that's obvious. Uh, solar is really uh, <laughs> expand expanding very, very quickly. And the uh, inset is for the thin film technologies only. So once again, in green, it's uh, amorphous silicon and uh, purple cattle. So the expansion is uh, very, very rapid. So this is, as of today, mostly first solar, but more companies are uh, on their way. Okay, uh, GE announced, uh, General Electric announced a couple of weeks or uh, months ago that they were jumping in cattle. So um, I think these data will keep going on uh, very, very quickly. And the blue one is CIGS, so you see once again CIGS is just, just emerging, so within a couple of years from now that will be a very uh, important uh, technology as well. Uh, germanium, this is the last uh, technology, uh, PV technology that 5 and Plus is involved in. We um, have some capabilities to uh, purify germanium, uh, that's uh, in trail in BC. Uh, we also have some uh, optic products for germanium, so infrared uh, lenses. 
and uh, to the plant in uh, Utah, uh, St. George, Utah, we uh, grow the single crystals and make the, uh, the wafers that are used for the 3.5's uh, multi-junction um, uh, solar cells. Now recycling, this is really critical to 5 and plus. Okay, being able to sell the metals is, is one thing, being, being able to recycle all the residues, scrap, uh, generated by, by the customers. This is a key feature of uh, our company and it is part of uh, our business model. So everything that we sell, we will buy the, uh, the residues uh, from our customers. We will give them some money for the value of the metals that they, they can contain. So we will just process that again uh, from the start to get uh, some high purity metals ready to, uh, to sell in the market. So currently for cattle, we can uh, buy any type of residues, uh, overspray, uh, uh, R&D uh, modules, um, end of life modules, uh, same for CIGS, and for germanium, we can recycle all, all the uh, cutting and polishing slurries, as well as the, uh, the scrap uh, wafers. So in summary, uh, Five and Plus is really a, a leader uh, in uh, business, cadmium, gallium, germanium, indium, antimony, selenium, and tellurium, and all their related chemicals. Um, we have a strong position in the, uh, in the solar market currently, all the tin film technologies. Uh, we have a strong uh, presence in Asia, Europe, and North America. Uh, Long-term agreements with many uh, metal suppliers. Once again, this is a key uh, feature of the company. And recycling capabilities, which are very, very uh, important for that business. And the company has been uh, profitable since the uh, early beginnings. And I think that the future is, uh, looks good for, uh, for that company. Thank you very much. last year. Do you have that number by any chance? Uh, I'm just not sure that the kind of information is made public. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I would recommend that you take a look at the um, annual report and that's about all you can know about, <laughs> about <laughs> that information. Yeah, I read but, the, but, but I you read can the, probably make your own uh, estimates. Based on the price, I guess, of uh, cadmium uh, or telluride? Uh, well, cadmium is not the uh, the expensive metal tellurium is, yeah. and well, the price is um, moving a lot now. It's kind of uh, on its way up because um, well, the consumption is uh, increasing mostly because well, just for so as announced, they will approximately double their production within the next year or uh, year or eighteen months from now. How much is it per kilogram or per gram? The, the, the price of the Tellurium on the market? Uh, tellurium commercial grade, uh, that's not the 5.9 grade. Commercial grade, I think, is above 200. $200 yeah, per, per kilo. kilogram. Yeah. And, and with regards to uh, PV modules that you recycle and that you buy from customers, mm -hmm. let's say I have a 70 watt module from First Solar, how much would you give me to, to buy it back? Oh, uh, well, that, that's a. Uh, well, each case is a. Uh, is unique. I'm not sure I can <laughs> give you <laughs> no, the <no> secret. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the commercial guy, so sorry. Okay. All right, thank you. Welcome. Can you tell us what uh, is your corporate position with reference to uh, rare earths today, the rare earths market? Uh, as of today, 5 and plus is not in involved or uh, refining any uh, rare earths. Uh, I just had a question about your uh, prediction for the future of germanium in terms of cost. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> um, I, uh, I have no, uh, no information on that. Not that I don't want to share it, I'm just not involved uh, enough in the germanium side of the business. I'm really on the, the tin film uh, part, mostly, mostly cadmium telluride, which is the major product in, in Montreal. 
Hi, I'm just curious to know how much recycling of cadmium telluride cells has actually taken place because the market seems to be growing a lot at this time, but I don't imagine that a lot of the cells have actually been returned to you yet. You, you mean the recycling? Are, well, you were mentioning the recycling program that your company has. Yeah, yeah. Well, well one thing is um, uh, recycling is not only recycling of module. When you build a solar panel, we have some loss of material in, in the coating uh, chamber, so this we can recycle. Um, obviously, all the uh, manufacturers are, um, are doing our R and D our test runs. So at the end, they have a bunch of modules that they cannot sell. So right now, we can recycle that. Um, and well, in, in the cattle business, all module that you can, will buy from a manufacturer, you uh, you pay right now for the recycling of it. So all this money is put. Uh, in, in an account that will be used to recycle the module at the end of its life. So it's a prepaid uh, rec recycling. A question related to uh, six, yeah. just very quickly. Do you, you talked about um, Karen Teride, um, like first solo being the leader for six. First of all, who do you see as the leader? And then uh, where do you see the price going? Because it actually has the potential to go much more efficient, right, as you mentioned, your point? Uh, definitely for, for six. Um, I'm not sure who's the current leader. Uh, I know uh, um, Solar Frontier uh, made um, uh, some announcement recent, recently. Uh, I know they are a big player, but I'm, I'm, I don't have the exact uh, uh, positions uh, in, in this. Could that be Solindra? United Solar. Well, well, once again, I'm most on the cattle side of the business. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you.